Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to talk to you about joining techniques. Joining techniques is very important in applied technology for junior cert and for engineering at Leaving Cert because our projects that we make in here incorporate quite a lot of different materials and uh, different pieces. So these are all assembly projects. So what an assembly means is that your project's pieces need to go together. Uh, and that is often a part where people find uh, difficult and using the proper joining techniques is very important. So I'm going to show you how to join, say, two pieces of aluminium together. And this also um, is the same for if you're doing plastic or any other metal. So the first one is just a machine screw. So this is an, an M5 by 12 machine screw here. And all I did was I treaded this hole. So I will link that video that I done on treading um, a couple of weeks ago down below. So you simply just screw that in normally. So the hole is treaded and you screw in your M5 screw. The next one then is a nut and bolt. So here now we do not have any holes treaded. We just have the bolt going through it here and then the nut here. And if you notice, I've got washers on both sides to protect the workpiece. Same with here. I've got a washer on this side to protect the workpiece. So that's just your normal machine screw here with the treaded hole on this side. And then we've got the nut and bolt and washer combo here without treading the hole. What you can also use here if you want is a lock nut. So if you notice the little blue um, piece of nylon in there. So what that means is that that will not screw off. So if you look at my normal nut, I could screw that off very easily if I wanted to. But if I swap that out for my lock nut, the lock nut will not um, unwind. What we could also use, and what I think is really tidy in a project, is a cap nut. So the cap nut, if we see here, could go on here like this. And the cap nut could then hide uh, the rest of the screw. It's a really tidy, especially if the screws happen to be on the outside of your project. So this is aluminium, but like I said, this could be used to join together um, plastic and what's really important is that you make sure that your holes line up so for example what I done here is I drill the hole the holes in this aluminium angle section first and then marked directly through the holes that I'd already drilled onto my aluminium piece here so our machine screw and nut and bolt combo that I just showed you there is a non-permanent joining technique but if we know that our joint uh, needs to be permanent, we can use what's called a pop rivet. So this is a pop rivet here, and this is the pop rivet gun. So what we do is we place the pop rivet into the pop rivet gun. We then must line up our holes. What happens then is we place the pop rivet through the holes and then if you start squeezing the gun you can see the pop rivet start to form and what we have now is a really nice tidy outside finish of the pop rivet so if you see there, basically, it's like a normal rivet. It just squeezes back in the piece of aluminium. So that's a solid permanent joining technique now. I'll show you a close-up of that right now. Now, the last joining technique we're going to look at today is joining a piece of plastic or a piece of metal to wood. So when we screw into wood, it's different to the screw we use with aluminium. This is a wood screw. So what you need to have done beforehand is you need to have a hole drilled and countersunk. So uh, I've done a video on that before. And that just means that that screw is now going to sit flush with your workpiece to make it look really tidy. If you didn't do that, the head of the screw would be sitting up like that and it just looks terrible. So you need to have the plastic drilled and countersunk. And I have a really small pilot hole in the wood. So we just place it down where it needs to go, place your screw in, and what you can use then is the screw head attachment on the drill.
and then very gently you just screw it in like that and now you've got your piece of plastic attached securely and very neatly and flush with your piece of plastic okay thanks everybody stay tuned for the giveaway hello everybody welcome to the giveaway so I decided that what I will do is I just picked three tubs of heroes I know in the giveaway video I said different in your choice but and um, the heroes are by far the nicest so if you want to come and you want to argue that case with me I will listen to your argument but uh, I will disagree the heroes are far better than roses which will be the, or celebrations will be next on the list so it goes heroes celebrations roses and then quality street so I said I will be um, nice and go with the heroes the nicest ones so let's get down to it so I've got all the names that entered here and the winner of the first tub <laughs> is Aaron Crowley in third year. Aaron will be delighted. Uh, or as he's known as online, uh, OK Boomer. So well done, Aaron. And I will actually have you later on today. This is Tuesday, so I will let you know uh, last two today. The second winner is Kieran Walsh in first year. So well done, Kieran. Uh, I think Thursday is when I will see you next. So uh, I will give you your prize then. And the last winner of the giveaway, there'll be a lot of lads disappointed, especially the six years. Dan Cosgrove and Luke Doyle and Pinkney. Nee. Ah, we have another first year. Connor Mahan. Brilliant. Well done, Connor, Kieran, and Aaron. So I will get in touch with you to collect your prizes. Probably best if we maybe wait till Friday. So I'll quarantine these for 72 hours and then on Friday you can come and collect your prizes. So thanks to everyone who entered. We're closing in close enough on 300. So uh, as always, for every 100 we'll do a giveaway. Thanks for watching everybody and see you all in the next video.